Look, I will be the first to admit, it's a rare quality, that I can be wrong from time to time. I am not infallible. I fuck up. We all do it. But you got to own it. And recently someone said, what's the biggest mistake you've ever committed related to motorcycle clubs and that culture and protocol, et cetera, et cetera? Because we've all done it. And you can all have, you can forget. You can leave your glasses down. You can do something stupid like that or, you know, whatever, just misstep. And all of a sudden, you're getting a talking to. And I did a pretty bad one. It's been probably, it's been probably over a year ago. But I thought we'd run through that right now as the biggest no-no I've ever committed at a motorcycle clubhouse. In this particular situation, there's actually several lessons to be learned, and I will try to remember them as I sit here and do this at you for the next 10, 12, 13 minutes, whatever. But about a year ago, I guess it was, uh, the local 1%, the dominant club for South Florida, had a loss. One of their brothers passed away in an accident. And as a showing of respect, all clubs in, in the area uh, went to the funeral. They had brothers that came from all over the country, and then we went to show respect, went to the service, um, went to the internment, you know, that sort of stuff. And we were honored that after the fact, through other channels, we were received an invitation uh, to go to their clubhouse. Uh, we had been probably once before, but it's just always nice when they say, hey, you guys should come have a beer. So we get an invitation to go back to their clubhouse. And as we're leaving, we notice that a, a local club, non 1%, but legit as hell, um, that is really good friends with us individually. Like, I've got some really good friends uh, within that club that we hang out, not even bike related stuff. Uh, <clears throat> we work on bikes, we do all kinds of stuff, and, and then, you know, hung out in Sturgis. Know them pretty well. They were going as well and said, roll with us, hang out with us. And because when you go to that a 1% clubhouse environment, you don't want to misstep. And you just do better if everyone's got an eye on each other, that kind of thing. So it's middle of the day. It's not late at night. You don't have to worry about anyone being overserved and emotional. But you have to remember this is still a funeral. They've lost a brother, and so tensions are high, right? Anyway, we go to their clubhouse. We're hanging out. We park the bikes across the street. No disrespect. Stay away from their bikes. We park across the street. We walk over. We're hanging out and all is fine. Now here's the interesting thing. I didn't screw up with the one percenters. I screwed up with my friends. The motorcycle club I mentioned ago that I'm really tight with. We're sitting out back having beers, having a good old time. And two of them, individually, I consider very good friends. I've sat and had drinks with each of them individually, had a lot of laughs, and I consider them good friends. Like, top 20, you know, kind of friends in your life. They got into an altercation. Not physical, but it was getting heated. I don't even know what it was about. It's none of my business. All I see is I look over and I see two people that I care about and, 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 and think very highly of are getting to that like, you know, this, this kind of thing, you know, where your noses aren't that far apart and the heads are moving and the eyes are getting big and, and you're like, oh shit, man. Not, not only is it bad, it's happening here, this isn't good. You know, I'm, I kind of sidestep down the building a bit to get closer and closer. And as it got more and more intense, here is where I committed a mortal sin. Some of you know what I'm about to say. I got between them. I got between them and it was like, hey man, we don't need this. Like, you know, we'll deal with this later. Da -da -da -da, not here. You know, just besides the fact that you guys are tight, you don't, you know, come on, man. Let's, let's just chill. I did that because that's what you would do in the normal world. You'd be like, hey man, we ain't doing that. But here's the thing. It was none of my goddamn business what they were doing. It was none of my business they were tying up. It is not for me to get between them. That is their business. And I committed a massive sin by getting between them. Now, here's the strange thing, or it's not, it's not strange to me now, but at the moment you're like, holy shit, you know. Um, these are friends of mine, both of them. Like there's one here and there's one here and I'm between them and both of them turned on me. And I remember, um, pretty legit dude, put it this way, I would hate to tie up with him. <laughs> like this, it's gonna hurt, you know? Like, so he gets an inch from my face and says, look man, don't ever forget who you are. You are not one of us. Love ya, but you're not one of us. 
And I and I and he's right. He was absolutely right. So committed a lot of sins there. I got in the middle of their business. I did it in public. I said I tried to tell them what they should be doing. I should not have done any of that. That was a massive mistake. But I forgot where I was. I forgot the situation, and I saw them as two of my friends about to get into it. And in that environment, in that context, I couldn't have done anything worse. Now, what do they do then? They did, in fact, you know, let it go. I think maybe a third one of them said, yeah, uh -uh, and, and they chilled out. Doesn't change the fact that I made a huge mistake. Now, here's the funny thing. An hour later, we we're having beers together, and nothing happened, and, and it's fine. You know what I mean? Like these these sort of arguments, they don't typically stick. You know, it's not it's not a long term relationship damaging situation. I I had a misstep. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, certainly shouldn't have done that there. And thankfully, I didn't get my eyes dotted. Because <laughs> I I kind of deserved it. I earned it. But there you go. So there's one thing to keep in mind. If you see, if you're out, and even if you know them or don't, and if you don't know them, you certainly stay the hell out of your, their business. But if you see two dudes start to tie up, unless someone senior in their organization or club says, help me pull them apart or whatever, which they wouldn't do. But if they did, stay out of it. It's none of your business. If they want to frickin' pull knives on each other, that is their business, not yours. So that's just a good example of something stupid. I've done a lot of stupid things, but there's a good one. That's the one that sticks with me most because it was so strange because they were both my friends. And for that moment... They weren't my friends because of what I did. So that's it. Thought you might enjoy that story. Love you all to death. Take care of each other out there. We'll talk real soon. Bye.